Are you ready to play America's hottest new game show? Optical true or optical false? The game show where we allow our audience at home to play along. True or false? Lined bifocals are always distance and near. True or false? The industry standard for the width of a straight top lined bifocal is 25 millimeters. True or false? A single vision lens can be used for near work. True or false? There is a lens so hideous that it makes children and some adults cringe. True or false? There are lenses that provide distance, intermediate, and near that are not progressives. Hello! I would like to welcome you to the Laramie K Optician Works Training Center, where today we are going to look at single vision lenses, lined bifocals, lined trifocals, and we're going to talk a little bit about round segments. And well, that's what we're going to do today. So let's just head on over to the whiteboard. I'm a fan of starting at the beginning, so let's start with single vision lenses. Single vision, single, one, fixed. A single vision lens has no distinguishing features of any kind. If I take this lens and I hold it up to the light, there are no laser etchings or no strange blend zones. There's nothing funky going on everywhere I look on this lens. It's the same good telltale sign that it's a single vision lens. If I have a packet like this or I'm filling an order for a lens, it can be very simple numbers. Spheres, plus one, minus one, plus 250, spherical, or Sphero cylinder, minus one, minus 125, plus 75, minus 75, that kind of stuff. By all means, if you are completely and totally brand new to this, you're at work, well, ask somebody to show you a single vision lens. Single vision lenses are available in all possible powers, all possible cylinders, all possible focal lengths, all possible materials, and all different sizes. Kind of important. You have single vision distance, single vision intermediate, and single vision near. This is something that people tend to get a little bit stuck on, particularly when you're particularly new. People always think of single vision as being distance only for some reason, but of course they're available in anything because they are a single focus, single purpose lens. Computer only, distance only, near only, sewing, those kinds of things. Now when I say single focus, remember that we have our eye or we have accommodation and we have our brain. So truly fixed, um, your high power stuff, like maybe uh, for almost like a magnifying glass for super near work, pretty much just here. But once you get out arm's length a little further, your accommodation, your brain takes over and gives that lens a little bit more range of focus and just one perfect spot. Single vision lenses are a crazy super cheap. They are crazy super easy to work with as you learn when you start doing finishing work. There are billions with a B, probably far more likely trillions with a T or more than that of these things out there in the world. You've probably got a thousand of them sitting on a shelf behind you right this minute. And these of course make up the stock single vision uncut lenses that we do all the in-house work with. Next up, we have lined bifocals. Bi, bi meaning two, two different distinct areas of good, crisp, clear vision through a lens. 
A lined bifocal can correct for all the refractive errors, including emetropia, if you will, with the added piece of presbyopia. It is always going to be combined a lens power, a prescription, and an add. Minus 150, minus 75, axis 92 with an add of 2. No add, no need for a bifocal. There is nothing wrong with a good old-fashioned bifocal. They can correct for a Plano with an ad, a prescription with an ad, a Plano with a percentage of ad, a prescription with a percentage of ad. You can move this segment around. These are incredibly versatile and generally very inexpensive lenses to work with. There are five videos that talk about how to convert them to for different uses. There's that one, that one, that one, that's a good one, and that one too. And if you look around out there enough, there are actually some stock Planos with specific ad power ranges that you can just keep in stock for emergencies. There is a little bit of language that goes with bifocals, lined bifocals. ST is straight top. FT is flat top. Every once in a while you'll see a D if you turn the segment rotated around, it looks like a D. Um, these are all interchangeable. You'll hear different people use the different terms. ST is the more common one you'll see. Bifocals are measured. They're sized this way. Plug in the number. You may find some 25s out there somewhere on the dusty back shelf of a lab somewhere. They used to be. 28 is the industry standard. And then there are 35 and 45 millimeter ones out there. That makes for a very, very large area of usable near or intermediate space. Again, thinking about making different unique things to give your customers a specialty lens. We tend to think of bifocals as being distance near. And I would strongly encourage you not to think of them that way. Think of how versatile they can actually be. Look at those other videos that we've done. The takeaway from straight top lined bifocals, there is absolutely nothing wrong with a good old bifocal. As I have told you guys, I wear them. I can wear any lens in the world. I wear them. They are inexpensive. They are easy to use. They are comfortable. They are safe for driving. You have customers that come in, repeated non-adapts, people that don't like progressives. They have some foria. They don't work for them. They want a really great hobby lens. Make them one. Be an optician. Think about using the different styles, the different sizes, moving that segment around, playing with your powers to give your customer something truly unique that'll work. That is what a lined bifocal looks like. There is a close-up as well of an actual pair of glasses with a lined bifocal in them. Let's take a look at lined trifocals, which are pretty hard to come by these days. We've got one, we've got two, we've got three. Lined trifocals, tri three, three distinct areas of clear vision. In this case, it's kind of all right to think of distance, intermediate, and near. They correct for all of the refractive errors and what we will call later stage presbyopia when you have that desperate need for your full ad power and an intermediate zone. Any lens order, any lens power is going to be that plus an add, minus 150, minus 75 at 92 with an add of two. No add, no need for a bifocal or a trifocal. A true trifocal design is a dated design. They are, were, more like it, tricky to work with. The positioning of this vertically in relationship to the eye, you had 
you know, on a good day, about a millimeter of play before it was too high or too low. Really kind of tricky things to work with. Today, very, very low need, very, very low demand for these. Office progressives, good progressives in general, bifocals, uh, changing the ad power in a bifocal. There's a lot of ways around needing a trifocal design. Not that they're not out there, which is why we're going over this. They are unlike a lined bifocal. They are not versatile. You can't play much with the different powers behind it, different ad powers, moving the segment around or anything. They're not very forgiving in their design. If you ever need to order a trifocal or need to answer a question on a test, they are sized accordingly to A by B. A being the height of the intermediate zone and B, the width of the segment itself. There are two general sizes. You have a seven by 28 and an eight by 35. Just something you need to know about you if you are starting out literally today as an optician, you may in fact never ever see one. But if you do, layout and how to measure for one is all covered on the Optician Works website. Three lenses to go. We've got our round segment. It looks like that. These are still used in occupational designs. We have the video about that, that one there. And they're used for, I believe it's billiards, target shooting, archery. Now the people that design occupational lenses tend to play their cards a bit close to their chest for obvious reasons. So if you need an occupational, you need a round, probably want to go to them. Now, the other thing about a round, and I guarantee you, if you go on social media and mention a round segment, someone will immediately jump in and say, those are used for pediatric ophthalmology. Well, you know, I honestly believe that may be a myth that we just keep repeating because we've heard it before. I've been trying for 10 years to find someone who would explain to me how and why that is used in pediatric ophthalmology. No one has ever stepped up to the plate. If you in fact do know, then please email me so that we can teach others. You have the executive bifocal, or as it's also known, the Franklin, two lenses glued together. I started this 30 plus years ago. You actually used to see these once in a while. I never ever had any trouble switching a executive bifocal user to a straight top 35 or a straight top 45, your best choice. I would strongly urge you to do that. Last, we have our executive trifocal. That thing there, yeah. Uh, look, I don't hide it. I hate those lenses for a wide variety of reasons. However, I understand that they are still sold. People still use them. I would strongly encourage you not to do it. But if you must make or use an executive trifocal, use a great lab like Laramie K. We'll do a little prism thinning on it, giving you a slightly better profile, a little thinner, a little bit lighter, and maybe you'll get a little bit better cutout. So there you have it. We have single vision, lined bifocals, lined trifocals, round segments, executive bifocals, and executive trifocals. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you are watching us on Facebook, please give us a like. Watching me on YouTube, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there in the corner. Feel free to leave me a comment and make sure that every single vision, lined bifocal, lined trifocal, and maybe even around the segment comes from Laramie K. I will see you again next week. False. <coughs> Yeah, that went well.